Could this be the worst argument anti-vegans could ever use? Cause it seems to fall flat on its face when you put it under just like five seconds of scrutiny. I'm scrolling through my Facebook comments on my one of my latest reels on Facebook and someone has left a comment. Vegans aren't squeaky clean, lol. So I go to the link that they posted and it says parents sentenced over neglect of child on vegan only diet. A Sydney couple who had their three children taken away from them when police found their 20 month old girl was severely malnourished and suffering from rickets after being fed on a strict vegan diet. But what were they feeding this child? Oats, bread and a few mouthfuls of vegetables daily. That just looks like uh, irresponsible parenting. This same anti-vegan posted another one. Vegan mum gets life in prison for starvation death of son. A vegan woman, of course, it's, it's a it's vegan, vegans are terrible. A vegan woman convicted of murder in the malnutrition death of her young son was sentenced on Monday to life in prison. What was she doing? Investigators said the couple told them the family ate only raw fruits and vegetables, although the toddler was also fed on breast milk. The 18 month old boy weighed eight kilograms and was the size of a seven month old baby when he died. Looks like bad parenting there, doesn't it? Looks like bad parenting. Now a vegan diet, if it's adequately planned, can be healthy for all stages of the life cycle, but what you have here, is irresponsible parenting. I don't have to explain why this is a bad argument. All you have to do is a simple Google search. Mother neglects child who starved to death. Here we go. A mother who starved her baby to death after controlling her boyfriend demanded that the newborn should live on sunlight instead of food. Is this a vegan? Let me just control F, vegan. Nothing about them being vegan. That's interesting. Let's go to another one. This happens very often, by the way. Here's one in The Guardian in April. A mother who starved son, three years old, to death found not guilty due to insanity. A mother who starved her three-year-old son to death by causing him to join in her religious fast. So someone who's religious, she was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. Let me just control F, vegan. No, nothing about veganism here. Why doesn't the headline say, meat eater starves child to death? I know why because there's like two or three articles of, of bad vegan parenting and then people take that and use it as an argument against veganism. Most vegans are not insane psychopaths who feed their kid a handful of oats and a couple vegetables and that's it. In fact, my nieces are both vegan and they're perfectly healthy. Veganism is a ethical principle against the rights violations of animals. It doesn't mean feed your kids nothing but raw vegetables until they die. The silly part of this, right, for every example you can show me of a vegan parent neglecting their children, nothing to do with feeding them a well-balanced, nutritionally adequate plant-based diet with an additional supplement if they need. Everything to do with the parents being irresponsible, not mentally well. For every single article you can find, I can find orders of magnitude more parents who've abused, neglected, starved their child who are meat eaters. It's an incredibly terrible argument because it backfires to a degree of orders of magnitude back on anyone who tries to do this to debunk veganism. Incredibly stupid. And guess what? I've gone through and found some so you don't have to. Egyptian mother kills five-year-old son cooks and eats parts of his head. So therefore, meat eating leads to cannibalism. Doesn't sound like something a vegan would do, eh? Like, that sounds like a little bit worse parenting, actually. But I suppose it meets meat, eh? She brought him into the world, so like, the child wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. I mean, you hear farmers making this argument, and the animals wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, for, for me. And I wonder if she killed them humanely, actually. You know, and, and what does a baby do anyway? They're not as sentient, they're not as smart, they're not as intelligent as like fully grown humans. So, you know, and it was her, it's her son, like, you could use so many silly, and, and, and she needed some protein, and you know, she was trying to get the, you know, the preformed vitamin A from this little baby, like absolutely sick and sadistic. And here's another one. Man who plotted to kill and eat children gets more than 26 years in prison. Hmm, doesn't sound like something a, a vegan would do. Let's keep going. First photo of cannibal mother accused of killing baby son and eating his brain. Three week old boy found dismembered in a bedroom. Heartbreaking story, terrible. And what's this one here? Bizarre, mother kills, cooks, and eats her young son. She confessed to killing her son, cooking him, and eating him in a bush. There's even one, even more horrible one, where sexual abuse happened first before killing the child and eating them. You know, so you can find these examples, orders of magnitude, more examples. Every single mass atrocity, mass murder, mass killing, you name it. Every single sexual assault, every single assault, every single stabbing and killing and, and, you know, anything you can think of. The vast, extreme vast majority are going to be 
non-vegans who do these things, just by virtue of there being less vegans on earth. And I'm not saying that all vegans are completely sane, you know, but I think that if you practice a philosophy that is against the rights violations and killing and suffering of non-human animals, then you're less likely to engage in that same rights violation towards a human being and definitely not going to think of killing and eating a human being, that's for sure. So every single murderer, cannibal, Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, even if you can find an example of a vegetarian uh, serial killer, there's still thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people who've done horrible things who were not vegetarian or vegan. One famous uh, anti-vegan argument that you'll hear is that Hitler was a vegan. Obviously, if Hitler was a vegan, then veganism is akin to Nazism. Or if you're vegan, it's going to lead to the horrible things that Hitler did. It's, it's a ridiculous argument. One, he was not a vegan, nowhere near. Two, he was not even a vegetarian. There's plenty of historical context. I think his, his chef even wrote an autobiography thing. His favorite uh, food was pigeon or squab. When Hitler came to power in 1933, he banned all the vegetarian societies in Germany, arrested their leaders, shut down the main vegetarian magazine published in Frankfurt during the war, banned all vegetarian organizations in the territories it occupied, even though vegetarian diets would have helped alleviate food shortages. This is from The Eternal Treblinka. Read The Eternal Treblinka, it's a fantastic book. Yeah, Hitler uh, might have periodically stopped eating meat because he had something, I think he had something, a stomach issue, it was like a health thing, but in no way was he doing this because he cared for the rights of animals. Hitler was a psychopath, essentially, and he wasn't a vegetarian. Let's just entertain the fact that he was. Let's just say he was a vegetarian. Let's just say he was a vegetarian for ethical reasons. He, had a, he was like a hated people, but he loved animals for some reason. It wouldn't matter. Just because you can find an anecdote of someone who doesn't eat meat and is also a psychopath, there are, again, orders of magnitude, more psychos and more dictators who are not vegan or not vegetarian. Now, Hitler was also against smoking cigarettes. So therefore, if you find anyone who's also against smoking, would you use that as an argument for them to smoke because Hitler was against smoking, so you don't wanna be like Hitler? Absolute nonsense. So when someone pulls out this uh, vegan starve their children, I would say something like this. I could just hit you back with that times a million, a billion. Most pedophiles, most uh, sadistic cannibals, most mass murderers, most dictators, most of the horrible things are committed by meat eaters. It's a terrible argument. It's got nothing to do with the vegan philosophy. The vegan philosophy is a philosophy that would lead to peace. It would lead to world peace. It would lead to people being less violent to each other. I know from experience, I was a violent person and um, it was involved with the gang world and this and that. And when I became a vegan and become sober and, and, and left the gangs and left that environment, uh, be, being a vegan was actually a huge part of me understanding how sentient beings suffer and why they deserve rights and all of these things led me to understand human injustices on a deeper level if you look at a, a chicken and you understand that their life matters to them then you can go out and go oh my god like yeah th these things happening to people is also wrong basically logical consistency you can't be for animal rights and against human rights you shouldn't be for human rights and against animal rights these two things are linked so I think speciesism is the root cause of a lot of uh, discrimination and you see it to the, even to this day preceding any mass atrocity that will tend to lower the human beings down to the status of non-human animals like go oh, their rats, their pigs, their vermin in order to justify doing something horrible to them because we already do horrible stuff to animals because we already don't care about them so if we, if we lower the humans down to the status of animals then it's fine to sort of attack vermin, isn't it? If we viewed like rats and pigs and animals with more respect, you could never put someone in that kind of box, which is a speciesism box, which maybe Hitler could have learned that lesson. This argument is terrible. One of the worst, I think. I thought I'd make this video so you'd have something in your arsenal to, to, to hit back at people. And anyone who uses this argument, I would stop using it. Uh, the media seem to take the ball and run with it. It's a bit sus, isn't it? It's a bit suspicious. It's because vegans have such an accusation against animal abusers and, and, and the horrible things that happen in order to to get this flesh from these animals that they're looking for anything to try to levy back against vegans people tend to feel guilty about what happens to animals and when people tend to feel guilty they tend to point the finger at you and go what about crop deaths what about that mother who starved their child and find these little bits of points of hypocrisy to make them feel like oh well okay they're just as bad as 
me for supporting this horrible animal mass murder. Therefore, I don't have to really change, you know, let's just point, let's just make accusations against vegans. I think it comes from a place of guilt and uh, it's a terrible argument. It should not be used. And have you ever heard this argument? Leave it in the comments section below and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.